The Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, also known as Congo Kinshasa, has a complex and tumultuous history that has been shaped by colonization, independent struggles, political instability, and conflict. The area that is now the DRC was initially inhabited by a range of Bantu-speaking ethnic groups, who were organized into several kingdoms and empires, including the Kingdom of Congo, which was established in the 14th century. The region was first explored by Europeans in the late 19th century, when Belgian explorer Henry Morton Stanley mapped out the Congo River and established contact with local leaders. In 1885, the Congo was declared the personal property of King Leopold II of Belgium, who exploited the region's natural resources and forced many people into forced labor on rubber plantations. This period, known as the Congo Free State, was marked by widespread abuse and exploitation, and it is estimated that millions of people died as a result. In 1908, the Belgian government took control of the Congo and established a colonial administration, which lasted until independence in 1960. During this period, the Belgian authorities continued to exploit the country's resources and established a system of racial segregation, which favored the European minority over the Congolese majority. In the late 1950s, a nationalist movement emerged, led by figures such as Patrice Lumumba and Joseph Kasavubu, who demanded independence from Belgium. In June 1960, the country gained independence, with Lumumba serving as the first prime minister and Kasavubu as the president. However, the country soon descended into political turmoil, with Lumumba being overthrown in a coup and assassinated in 1961. The years following independence were marked by political instability, with a series of coups and rebellions leading to the establishment of a Marxist-Leninist government under President Mobutu Sese Siko in 1965. Mobutu ruled the country for over 30 years, during which time he amassed a vast personal fortune and suppressed political opposition. In 1997, Mobutu was overthrown by rebel leader Laurent Desiree Kabila, who established a new government and renamed the country the Democratic Republic of Congo. However, Kabila's government was soon beset by rebellion and conflict, with a civil war breaking out in 1998. The war lasted until 2003 and involved multiple armed groups in neighboring countries, resulting in the deaths of millions of people. Since the end of the civil war, the DRC has remained politically unstable and conflict-ridden, with ongoing violence in the east of the country, where armed groups continue to fight for control of the region's mineral resources. The country has also struggled with poverty, corruption, and underdevelopment, despite its vast natural resources. The DRC gained independence from Belgium in 1960 and has since experienced political instability, conflict, and economic struggles. The country has been plagued by civil wars, rebellions, and ethnic conflicts, with the most recent conflict occurring from 1998 to 2003, resulting in the deaths of millions of people. The DRC is rich in natural resources, including diamonds, gold, copper, cobalt, and coltan, among others. However, despite its vast natural resources, the country remains one of the poorest in the world, with high levels of poverty, unemployment, and inequality. The government of the DRC is a presidential republic, with the president serving as both the head of state and the head of government. The country has a bicameral parliament, with the Senate and National Assembly serving as the legislative branch. The DRC is home to a diverse range of cultures and languages, with over 200 ethnic groups and over 700 languages spoken. The official language of the country is French, although Lingala, Swahili, and other regional languages are also widely spoken. Despite the challenges facing the DRC, there have been some positive developments in recent years. In 2018, the country held its first peaceful transfer of power in nearly 60 years, with President Felix Shisekedi taking office. The government has also made efforts to address corruption and improve infrastructure, although much work remains to be done to address the country's many challenges.